Hello, hello everyone. I'm Brian with Zimco Survival and I'm back again today. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the Silky Zubat. Now I know a lot of you guys have already watched the review I did on the Silky Ultra XL, which is their folding curb saw. But I also picked up the Zubat. Why? Because I can. Um, I decided that I wanted to test out both versions of saws that Silky makes, including the fixed blade version. Their most famous among bushcrafters for their folding saws, like the Gone Boy, the Pocket Boy, the Big Boy, the Katana Boy, which I'm going to be all ultra honest with you guys, the Katana Boy is nothing but a gimmick in my opinion. Um, no one is going to carry that in their bag feasibly, so gimmick saw. No one needs to saw that big out in the woods. Unless you're a forester, or your job involves you carrying a big saw out into a forest. Um, but prepping, bug out, hiking, you're not going to need it little rant on my part but I decided to go ahead and pick this up at the same time that I picked up the Ultra Excel so that I could go ahead and give it a good you know a good test fixed blade versus folding saw which one does better um, so let's go ahead and get over some of the specs of the Zubat number one it comes in a sheath Let's go ahead and go over the sheath. We always go over the sheath first, so let's do that. The uh, belt strap here is basically a very nice, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a rubberized material. It is on a metal pivot point here, and it does have a carabiner hole right there. So it has many, many different ways of attaching it to a belt and it, it's not pleather, it's not going to fall apart on you, it's a very good quality belt strap. It also has a quick release for those of you guys who are actually working up at a tree. So if for some reason this does get tangled or stuck and traps you up in the tree, you can quick release it and get away. Um, this feature right here is not something that a bushcrafter or survivalist is going to use. This is definitely an arborist's addition. The sheath itself is a hard plastic, slit at the bottom here for drainage. Um, right here you have strapping points for your legs. Again, this is an arborist saw, so expect a lot of features on here to be geared towards arborists. So this here and this here is for attaching it to your thigh for when you're up in a tree, make it easier to carry with you rather than having it dangling off your belt. Now. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but inside of here you have three rollers. One here, one here, and one down in there. What, this, what that does is quite simple. Let's see if I can show it to you here. It's kind of an odd angle. Um, that way when you put the saw in, it rolls instead of cutting into the sheath. Just a wonderful little thought from Silky. Um, to add those rollers in there to protect the sheath so the saw doesn't literally cut it up. Um, overall review of the sheath is definitely a 5 out of 5 sheath. It's a very good sheath. I am not going to be replacing this. I'm just going to keep it exactly the way it is. I have found absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm not disappointed in it. It rides well on my hip. It's just a good sheath. So I'm not replacing this. I'm going to keep it and I recommend that you guys do too. Time to get to the saw. Um, let's start with the handle here. You do have two nice big red screws. You can remove the handle. This is a full tang saw. Tang goes all the way down to here. Okay, Absolute full tang saw. It stops literally right before the lanyard hole here. Um, it does have that ergonomic grip to it. So your hand literally sits in the position that it wants to sit when you're doing the sawing. Um, helps save your wrist. So you aren't, you know, after a day's worth of sawing, your wrist isn't aching. It is a curved blade saw. Now, this particular version comes in only the large teeth from what I've found. It doesn't come in the extra large teeth, but that's fine. Um, it does have a slight overdraw protector here. Although, in all honesty, it's never done anything for me, so I am not going to be, you know, it's not a big deal for me. I don't worry about overdraw anyway. Um, just like all silkies, the spine is reverse ground. So it's thicker towards the teeth and thinner towards the spine. What this does is help reduce friction and binding. 
Um, a lot of saws do that, but Silky does it the right way. Right here, you have some blade flex. The saw itself is made from SK4 high carbon steel. It's essentially a tool steel from Japan. Um, the spine is soft and the teeth have been impulse hardened in order to retain their strength. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it, but you can see kind of the blackening along the teeth there. Um, these teeth are extremely hard, so they will last a lot longer than most saws you're going to pick up. In fact, in all honesty, um, these, the, these teeth are absolutely phenomenal. I have, I mean, I've gone through quite a bit of that uh, aged cherry at this point, and they still feel just as sharp as they did when they came out of the box. And my Corona dulled, because I tested it compared to the Corona. The Corona was a noticeable difference after I got through the first few cuts. So obviously there's a difference in the blade steel between the Corona and the Silky and the hardening process between the Corona and the Silky. And the Silky just ends up winning hands down. This thing is still just as sharp as when I bought it. And the Corona was dull after the same number of cuts. So I liked, I used to like the Corona, but after testing these side by side and watching the cutting performance diminish on the Corona as quickly as it did, I'm going to have to stick with these saws. This, the Silky saws are simply much better. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a saw. There's not a lot as far as specs to go through. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the cutting. Be right back. All right, welcome back to the stump. Those of you guys who watched my recent Ultra XL, my Silky Ultra XL video will know what this is. This is a two year aged piece of cherry. Um, very, very, very hard wood. Went ahead and stuck it back up here on my demo stump. I saved a bit of it for you guys so that I could do a review on this saw and get a nice comparison between the Ultra XL and the Zubat. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now before I go ahead and start cutting, this blade right here is 13.6 inches. It has a maximum effective cutting diameter of 7 inches. So this saw is a bit longer and a bit heavier duty than the Ultra XL. Let's go ahead and get started here. go nice perfectly smooth cut can't beat a silky now remember this is hard aged cherry two years old aging in my in my wood stack this is not a soft wood right now those of you guys who know what an aged cherry is like to work with you'll know that this thing will destroy pretty much whatever woodworking tools you throw at it. Which is the reason it was still sitting there. But let's go back to the chair. Alright, and we're back. So what's my opinion on the Zubat? It's an excellent saw. Um, now this is the 330. 
which is like I said, the Zubat 330, which is 13.6 inches with an effective cutting diameter of seven inches. Um, great saw. This one weighs quite a bit more though than the Ultra XL. This one right here weighs almost two pounds with the sheath included. Um, it's not a light saw, but it's definitely a more heavy duty saw. Um, the Ultra XL weighs 10.5 ounces. So, which one would I choose? If I had to pick one to take out into the woods with me, let's say I was bugging out, for example, um, which one would I take with me? I'd probably take both. Um, the Ultra XL is simply going to be better for smaller tasks. This is more of a um, balls to wall kind of saw. This is a go all out, large material, lots of cutting, commercial style saw. Um, so I would probably actually bring both to be honest with you. A saw is one of the most valuable things you can take with you for wood processing. Um, and along with the hatchet, can pretty much handle most if not all of your fire prepping needs. So good saws, good hatchet, you've got yourself as much firewood as you're going to need. Um, so honestly I'd probably take both of these. I like both of them and I honestly cannot make up my mind which one I'd rather bring. And when that kind of thing happens to me, it means that both has a place and both have are going to serve me well in different circumstances. So I'll just take both of them, that's my opinion. Um, if I had to choose, if I had to choose between one or the other, I would probably pick the Ultra Excel. It's simply going to be a more versatile saw, where this one is, is definitely very, very good, and it will serve me very well, but because of its size and its weight, it's definitely more of a large log saw. It's not going to be something that I'm going to be cutting a lot of smaller diameter trees and stuff with. So good saw, really great saw, cannot complain about it at all. Um, but for my purposes, the Ultra XL is probably going to be a better one-stop shop saw. However, I will also be bringing this with me, <clears throat> at least on a few camping trips as well, just to kind of get a feel for it and decide if the extra weight is worth it um, in some more real world applications. But as of now, it has my stamp of approval. I'm gonna give it a five out of five rating. If you wanna go ahead and pick up a good fixed blade saw, go ahead and pick up the Silky Zubat. You will not be disappointed in your purchase. But as always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you can get notified of all of my new videos. And have a good night. Bye-bye.